dough, start with one and a half cups of warm water. To that, add one teaspoon of active dry yeast. This is Fleischmann's traditional. And just give it a quick stir. Let that sit for a couple minutes until the yeast is dissolved. In a large mixing bowl, add four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To that, add one teaspoon of table salt. Stir it around a little bit. Then simply pour in six tablespoons of olive oil. Take the warm water with the yeast and add it with the flour, oil, and salt. Give it a quick stir. Now just give it a good mix. If you have a stand mixer or a hand mixer, it makes it so much easier. But this can be done by hand. Turn it on low, give it a couple minutes. Once you have a nice even consistency, take it out of the bowl, we're going to clean it. Wash and dry your mixing bowl out or place the dough in another bowl that's big enough to let it double in size. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and mix it around, coating all the sides so nothing sticks. Take a heavy dish towel and soak it under hot water. Once you get it nice and soaked, wring out most of the water and we'll place it on top of the bowl. Take the warm damp cloth, place it over the bowl. Turn your oven on for one minute just to let it get warm inside. Now that the oven's warm, shut it off. Take the bowl, place it in the oven to let the dough rise for an hour. The heat from the oven will stay in there, just leave the door shut. After an hour, take the bowl out of the oven, remove the damp dish towel, and you can see the dough has almost doubled in size. Now's a good time to split the dough in half. Take it and just roll it into a ball. If you're in a rush to make the pizza, you can take the dough now and get started. I'm going to let the dough proof by putting a good lid on it. Place it in the fridge for at least 12 to 24 hours. And the dough will continue to rise. Take the charcoal from the chimney and evenly pour it out. Take a tool and mix it around so it's all nice and even. To get everything else set up, place your Weber grate in. I got another little riser grate. Get open and take a peek. You can see it just keeps rising. Nice and soft. Let's make some pizzas. Start by sprinkling a little bit of flour on your countertop. Take the dough out. Sprinkle a little on top too. And dust your rolling pin. Just start rolling it out. Once you have the dough flattened out to around a quarter inch thick, sprinkle on some cornmeal, pat it in a little bit, and flip the crust over. Makes it easy to move around and get off the pizza peel. Start with your fingers just make a little edge for the crust. Spoonfuls of your favorite spaghetti, marinara, or homemade sauce. Place it in the middle, just work your way outwards, giving it a nice thin coating. Now for the toppings for this pizza. Got some Parmigrano Reggiano cheese, Asiago, and provolone, red onions, capicola, and sweet red peppers. Let's get it all put together. Let's go get it on the barbecue. Woo. Pizza is just on the barbecue. Close the lid. Check on it in around five minutes. Looking good. A couple pizza bubbles. Just pop them. 
can see this side's cooking a little quicker, so we're going to move it around. Get the lid back on, let it keep cooking. After another five minutes, take another peek. Looking good. Spin it around a little bit more. Start checking the bottom of the crust. Still needs a couple more minutes. Put the lid back on. After another three minutes, let's take a peek. Looking good. Crust is nice and brown. Let's take it off. Slice into it, take a better peek. Here that crust is nice and crunchy. Now I hate doing this, but just to show everyone, check out the bottom of the crust. Look at that, nice golden brown. Dough rolled out to around a quarter inch. Take your pizza tray, spray it with some cooking oil. Just slide the dough on. Start by making the edges of the crust. Just by pressing down with your thumbs. Take some olive oil, brush on a thin coat. Again, just so the pizza doesn't get all soggy from the sauce and the toppings. For the next pizza, pretty much going to use the same toppings. Going to keep the capicola whole and got some fresh Parmesan cheese. Let's get that pizza on. Simply so place it on the riser blocks, put the lid back on. For five minutes, take a peek. Everything's cooking nice and even. Take your spatula, make sure the crust is nice and loose. Oops. Get the lid back on. After another five minutes, take a quick peek. Everything's looking good. Start checking the crust. Still need some more time. Shut the lid, let it keep cooking. Five more minutes, let's take a peek. Looking good. Let's get this pie off. Slice into it and see how the crust looks. You can already hear it's nice and crispy. Still piping hot. Let's flip it over and see the bottom side of the crust. Check it out. Nice golden brown. Ah, didn't lose any top.